Whether you've had an air fryer for quite some time, or if maybe you got one for Christmas and you've never used it and you're a little scared, I've got six recipes today that are a must try in your air fryer. They are beginner friendly, they are not hard at all, and they are all delicious. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. When I first got my air fryer, the only thing I used it for was chicken nuggets and french fries that were frozen. I didn't quite grasp what an air fryer is. It's basically a mini convection oven. So it cooks things in less time and it's constantly moving that air around in there. Once I started trusting my air fryer to actually cook food, like raw food and cook it completely, it opened up a whole new world of possibilities. One thing we have not made in the air fryer yet are turkey burgers. So we're gonna try some turkey burgers in the air fryer today. We're gonna add a little bit of red onion to our turkey burgers. So let me, is that bad? I don't think it's bad. We're about to find out. Let me chi chice, I'm gonna chice this up. I was gonna say chop, and then I was gonna say dice. And here we are, we're gonna chice it. New word, I'm claiming it, trademarked. I think this is probably gonna be enough. But we want to really finely dice it, or chice it, excuse me. Get it right, Mandy. If you've never made turkey burgers before or cooked with ground turkey, you just have to keep in mind it does not have a, a bunch of flavor on its own. You do need to add seasonings and other flavor components or else it'll be quite bland. And that's pretty much all we have to do. Now we just mix everything together. While we mix everything together, I am going to turn, why is this shaking? It must be sitting on the cord. Hold please. Yep, there we go. We're back. We're going to, oh. We're gonna preheat to 400. We need one pound of ground turkey. Let go, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna be using some gloves to mix this because, yuck. Let's throw in our diced, chiced red onion. We need a third a cup of some type of sauce. So I'm using this barbecue sauce. You could use chili sauce. Any type of barbecue sa sauce will be fine. We need a fourth a cup of breadcrumbs. This is the Italian style because that's just what I have on hand. But you can just do plain breadcrumbs, not panko though. I'm gonna be using this everything but the elote. Is that how you say that? I'm gonna be using this seasoning. You could use some seasoned salt, about a half a teaspoon. And I'm gonna throw in about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now we just need to mix this together, so. Okay, before we form our patties, this has preheated, it is good to go. I'm gonna spritz it with some oil so it won't stick. So you could definitely get four patties out of this, but since there's just three of us, I'm gonna form three. These things are awful. <laughs> they're so big, they're hard to work with. I have some latex gloves, but don't know where they're at. So there's that. This is, this is fun, friends. This is real fun. <laughs> I'll be back. I spared you, but there we go. We have three of them. They're going into the air fryer. These are gonna cook at 400 for about 10 minutes. You can flip them half the way through, but you don't have to. Okay, this just finished. We need to check. Ooh, now those are pretty. We need to check and make sure they're done. So you wanna make sure they're at 165 degrees. That first one I didn't flatten out enough, so it is not done, but the other two are, so. I'm gonna remove them out. I'm gonna flatten this a little bit and stick it back in. Okay, the other one is going here in the air fryer, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix these two sandwiches since they're ready. While they're still good and hot, I'm gonna throw some Colby Jack cheese on top. I went in there to our garden and pulled off some of this. I think this is Breen, which is very similar to Romaine. And we're gonna add some tomato on top too, because why not? And I've got mayo on the bottom and mustard on the top. And that, my friends, is lunch. What did you say to me when you came in here for a turkey burger? What'd you say? I said, you don't even have to ask right. if it's done. Right. Because my baby's going to cook it all the way. All the way some. and then some. Right. We, we got sick off of undercooked turkey burgers a very long time ago. So never again, my friends. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Mmm. While you chew, I'm on show the fun action that we're watching across the street today. 
I'm their manager. I'm managing all that. You're managing it all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, from in here. You're just calling the shots. Yeah, I'm not about that job Great seasonings on that, though. Good. I'm still very impressed with the air fryer. I know. The air fryer has been really just a blessing but yeah just great seasonings in there it's not bland turkey is one of those things where you just have to over season it you know Correct. to really get some good flavor but it's very juicy okay good um yeah and then you can tell it's cooked all the way through oh yeah i don't play we ain't playing <laughs> all right so we've got the burger we've got some sweet potato fries and we had a few pringles left so that's good and i don't remember did i say sweet potato chips or did i say sweet potato fries they're obviously chips. I asked Steven, and he said, I don't know what you call them. He was too busy eating. He didn't care. They don't matter to me. <laughs> I cook mine. It needs to be at least 165 degrees. I make sure mine's like 175. Just for that extra. A little something extra. <laughs> Another recipe. I really should call these beginner friendly air fryer recipes because I've chosen some really easy ones for this video. If you've been around for a while, you know our favorite way to make green beans is on the stovetop with some bacon, a little brown sugar. However, sometimes I'm in a hurry and one of the easier ways to make green beans is in the air fryer. You can still use canned green beans. They're gonna come out, they're gonna look kind of wrinkly and not very pretty, but you can do it. But preferably you will use frozen whole green beans or fresh green beans. If it's in season, you definitely could do fresh. First things first, we need to preheat our air fryer. <coughs> Honey, I normally get the cheese shredder out of here and she's very aware of that. Okay, the great thing about using the frozen green beans is you don't have to thaw them. So you just pour them into a bowl and you're just gonna toss them with a little olive oil and seasonings. You could just do salt and pepper. You don't have to do a lot of olive oil, maybe a teaspoon or two. I probably did around a teaspoon, I mean two teaspoons. And then you could just salt and pepper it. I'm gonna be using this. We haven't used this very much, but a sweet subscriber sent it to us. It's called the It's Incredible Seasoning. And I always forget about having it, but we're gonna use this one today. Our air fryer is ready to go. So let's head over there and spray the bottom with a little bit of oil, just so nothing sticks. Dump these in. Oh, you hear that sizzle? Get them in an even layer. And these are going in at 400 for about 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. We are gonna take these green beans out and toss them. And after we toss them, we'll just stick them back in for the five minutes. And because I'm extra these last couple of minutes, I'm gonna toss our green beans in some grated Parmesan cheese. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna throw it in there and just toss them around just for these last two minutes. All right, our green beans are done. Look how crispy they are. They look so good. As to not confuse everyone, I just plated this up separately so that you don't wonder what in the world we're eating. You'll see that on what Friday. What in the world are we eating? <laughs> we're going to eat these green beans. <laughs> How good. Give me a bite. Usually with mac green beans, we get them out of the can, we put them in there, and we cook them for a long time in sugar and bacon, bacon, mm -hmm. fat. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> but this is a little different. Just a fresher. Yeah healthier way yeah. to do green beans. It's really, really, really good. Yeah. For, you know, all things considered, how they're cooked. Yeah. Um, you get more of the green bean flavor itself, probably the more, more truest green yes. bean flavor. But then the seasonings around it are really good as well. Great. Salty, mm -hmm. um, got some of that pepper in there, and then mm -hmm. the garlic flavor mm -hmm. that's in there, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna be starting on some Mexican corn on the cob. This is very simple. We've never had corn on the cob in the air fryer, so I'm excited to try it because I heard great things about it. And special bonus, like super special bonus, I have a sous chef who said, I want to make this and I'll be on camera. I'm prepared. <laughs> He's prepared. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is preheat our air fryer. So you're gonna go over here to preheat and 400 is fine, five minutes is fine. Go ahead and hit the start button, yep. Okay, so our basket has been heated up. Now Cole's got our corn and he's just gonna spray it with some oil first before we put it in there. Okay, that's good. These are gonna go in at 400 for 14 minutes and we will kind of turn them at the halfway point. Okay, so he's just gonna turn these over. Good. And they're gonna go in for seven more minutes. 
while our air fryer corn is still going, we're going to kind of combine some things for the butter that's going to go over top. So we need three tablespoons of butter. I like having a sous chef. Mm -hmm. We need this garlic, a couple of teaspoons of garlic. So just pour that in there. Here's a spoon. There we go. Did it come out? We need about a teaspoon of lemon zest, not lemon zest, lime zest. And so he's gonna do that for us. Okay, and we also need about a tablespoon of lime juice. So he's gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna grab the juicer and he will add some lime juice into here. And this is gonna go in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so. We just want to get everything melted, obviously. And we want our um, garlic to be nice and fragrant. This needs to be washed. It does a good job though. <laughs> Okay, I wish y'all could smell this. Oh, our corn's done. Perfection, you want a little bit of char on there. Look at that, yes. Cole is just gonna brush our butter on all over it. Okay, and Cole does not like cilantro, so we're just gonna put a little cilantro on mine and Steven's. But this is gonna be so good with our meatloaf tonight. Oh my word. One last thing we're gonna do to just give it a little more smoky flavor is put the seafood seasoning on there. It's got some paprika in there. It's got all kinds of good stuff. So we're just gonna sprinkle this on top. Wow. Man, that's amazing. Air fryer corn, what you think? Man, yeah. Oh man, the lime. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely coming through. Then you've okay. got the garlic and the butter in there. A little bit of the spices, mm -hmm. the smoky flavor. But yeah. Wow, the lime and butter with the corn. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Okay, well, I'm excited. Gosh, it looks, it smells so good in here, y'all. Best corn on the cob I've ever mm. had, hands down. Okay, it is lunchtime now, and for a quick and easy lunch, I'm gonna be making little mini pizzas in the air fryer. So your toppings are totally personal. So I'm doing the mini pepperonis since these are mini pizzas. And we're just gonna do a little bit of this sausage as well. Maybe, maybe half of this pound of sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and brown that up on the stove. I'm gonna be using this pizza crust. If you can't find pizza crust, and I think I've heard too that they have many pizza crusts now by Pillsbury, I'm not sure. But if you can't find that, you could always just roll out biscuit dough. It may just take a little bit longer to cook. And let's just see how many mini pizzas we can get out of this one crust. We're just gonna make these a little extra large. Okay, we're gonna go with six. Very uneven pizzas. <laughs> this is how you know Mandy's been here. When things are a little wonky. This ain't Food Network. This is Mandy in the kitchen making a mess. Okay, so I'm cooking up this sausage. It was mild sausage. That's all my grocery store had. So I did add just a little bit of Italian seasoning and I also added some black pepper just to give it a little more flavor. Honestly, I wanted hot sausage for today, but they didn't have anything but mild. That's what I had to go with. This is almost done cooking and then I'm just gonna drain it and we will assemble our pizzas. Okay, so we have cooked our sausage. Now let's go in with some marinara sauce. If you have pizza sauce, that works too. I didn't have any. We're gonna go with a larger one first, which is probably gonna be hard to maneuver now that I think about it. Yeah. So I'm doing the trial and error for you. This may be an epic fail on these larger ones. Let's add some sausage and a few of our mini pepperonis. These are so cute. You could definitely just use regular pepperoni, but I just saw these at the grocery store and I was like, well, these are mini pizzas, so why not? If you can get your hands on this mozzarella cheese, I highly recommend it. It does melt a whole lot easier. Test subject number one is complete. Now, to pick this thing up and get it in the air fryer. First, we're gonna spray the bottom of our air fryer with our oil again. I grabbed my spurtle. I figure that's gonna help me transfer this pretty easily, I hope. We're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, this could be epic failure. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. We're just gonna, we're gonna go really quickly. <laughs> Y'all, this is so bad. Don't do as I do. Should I just cut it in half? That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I gotta do. There we go. We did it. It ain't pretty, but that's okay. So, this is a learning curve. Oh, you don't, you're not even seeing it. I'm sorry, let me show it to you. This is a learning curve for sure. I'm gonna recommend that maybe you put it in here first and then top them. It just makes it easier to transfer. Let's put this in the air fryer. Okay, we're gonna go Temperature 400. 
Let's try four minutes and check on it. I have nothing in my hands. Nothing, ma'am. Our timer just went off. Oh my stars, can y'all see that? That looks like a huge hit. Let me take them out. We're gonna put them on this wire rack over here while I do the rest of them. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I may do just a little bit longer on the next one. I feel like, I mean, it feels pretty done. We're gonna let them cool for a minute and I'm gonna test it before I put another batch in because I just wanna make sure that the dough is completely done on the inside. I have a taste tester that's about to arrive in just a second. I'm letting these cool the rest of the way. They smell so good. Let's see if we can see the bottom of them. They look like they're done. My main squeeze right Ooh, there. Oh, look at them. <laughs> oh man, look yeah, at one that. One of them is mine and one of them is yours. Just a heads up, I'm gonna make more, but. Just one? Yeah, just one for now. Okay, which one can I have? You can have that one. We gotta make sure that the crust is done enough. So yeah, it's, it's a little soft. It is a little soft. A little soft. But it's not like it's supposed to be super hard, I don't think. So. That is really, really, really good. The crust is done. It's not doughy. Mm -mm. It's not super hard. Like I'm looking in here right now. It's not doughy. It's, it's not doughy at all. It is cooked. Yeah. It's not super hard crust like a normal pizza would right. be. What sauce is that? Rayos. Rayos. Uh, Rayos, man. Oh, I done dropped it. <laughs> I didn't drop this dog in yet. Ten second rule. <laughs> oh. Steven, no you didn't. How are you gonna say ten seconds? It's five seconds. Is it the three second rule, five second rule, or is it ten second rule like he says? With me, you just never know. <laughs> Come in here tomorrow morning, look what's on the floor. Steven, just he does kidding. not do <laughs> Gosh. You can't do nothing with me. No, you can't. All right, I'm gonna go make the rest of them. Steven just had a really great idea. We're gonna put the crust in there for about a minute and then we're gonna open it up and put all the toppings on and see if that will help it firm up on the bottom a little bit more. Okay, now that our pizza crusts have been in for about a minute, it makes them a little more manageable and you can remove them and top them and then put them back in. It's going back in at 400 for four minutes. You could definitely just reach into the air fryer base with them still in the air fryer, but you've gotta do that very, very carefully so that you don't burn yourself on the side of the air fryer. Your air fryer is very hot, so you don't want to possibly burn yourself. So the safer option and the recommended option would be to remove it like I've done now, top it, and then place it back in there. Moment of truth. First of all, they smell divine. They look divine. Let's see if the bottoms are just a little more done this time. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Do you hear Steven in there? Where's mine? Yeah. It's a little crispy, oh, right? Firmed it up a little bit there. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's hot. What's hard to believe is you just made a really good pizza in that thing. In the air fryer. My gosh. I know. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Okay, y'all, I've got all of our spices out. I'm going to start with some cayenne pepper. You could always leave this out if you are not into, you know, the hot stuff but I'm gonna use about a half a tablespoon of cayenne. We're gonna do a tablespoon of paprika, which is pretty much all I have left. I need to write that on the grocery list. We'll just, there we go. I need a tablespoon of chili powder. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Half a tablespoon of black pepper, or you could always use some more if you really like yours peppery. Now we need two tablespoons of salt. Three fourths a cup of brown sugar. And then lastly, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of garlic salt. And the recipe says that you could also add in a teaspoon of cinnamon. I have, I have not done that. That just sounds weird to me. You'll have to let me know if you have done that before. So it does have a good bit of the spices in there, but it has a lot of brown sugar to help calm it down so it's not just hot. It's like sweet and spicy. We really love these. Okay, so I've got my wings here. I did pat them dry 
I'm going to take about half of my spices and pour it into a large Ziploc bag. All right, now I'm going to, it says to spray them with olive oil, but I used this last time and it was just fine. Okay, I'm gonna put about half of them in here and we're gonna coat them really well. And I need to go ahead and preheat my air fryer to 400. I need to let it like warm up for five minutes. Okay, so this just finished preheating. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna spray it with our nonstick spray, our vegetable oil. And let's put our wings in. Okay, so this is gonna go at 400 for 16 minutes, but I am gonna flip them over half the way through. Okay, so it's been about half the time. I wish y'all could smell these. I'm gonna turn them over. Okay, now they're going back in for the rest of the time. Okay, these are done. Yes. And I'm just gonna put them on a plate and tent the plate with some aluminum foil so that they stay warm while I do the second batch. Wait. <laughs> he, he was about to eat and I was like grabbing my camera as fast as I could. I, I didn't want to wait. I love the spices. You must have some sugar in there. Yeah, it's got brown sugar in there. Yeah, I can taste the brown sugar, just a little hint of that sweetness Yeah. with that spice. So it cuts the spice just a little bit. Yes. and. The charring is actually really nice. Yeah. I feel like without the charring, you wouldn't get as much of the flavor. Yeah. So I, I love how these turned out. I'm just amazed that these came out of an air fryer. All right, so this is a winner, huh? Oh yeah. One of the easiest recipes in the air fryer and one of the best ways to make Brussels sprouts is to do this particular recipe. So you're just gonna take your Brussels sprouts and cut them in half, cutting the ends off. You can toss them in either vegetable oil or olive oil. You just need about a tablespoon or two of that to toss them in, just make sure they all get coated. And then you're gonna add in ranch seasoning mix as well as some grated Parmesan cheese. For the ranch, maybe a tablespoon or two, just depending on how many Brussels sprouts you have, and the same for the Parmesan cheese. Toss that all together. Once everything is good and coated, add just a little bit of salt and pepper and toss it again. There is no need to preheat your air fryer this time. And because they're coated so well in the oil, you don't really have to spray the bottom either. So just put them in your air fryer basket. Try to get them in an even layer if possible. And you're gonna cook these at 350 for about 12 minutes. You do want to toss them at about halfway through, but these turn out so good. They are super crispy and some of the edges get really brown, which is honestly the best part to me. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this simple Brussels sprouts recipe. So tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite way to use your air fryer? What was the very first thing you tried in your air fryer other than chicken nuggets and french fries like me? And if you have a favorite air fryer recipe, you can always share that in the comments. So go, even if you're not leaving a comment, go check out the comments and see what others are saying. If you haven't done so already, I would really love for you to subscribe to the channel. It's free to do so, and that just allows YouTube to know, hey, I wanna see the content that Mandy is putting out and it will always refresh in your subscription feed so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for being here. Bye y'all.